Well, a key inflation gauge tracked closely by the Federal Reserve shows consumer prices slowed sharply last month. Now, this comes roughly a week after the central bank raised interest rates for the ninth time in just about a year. The Bureau of Economic Analysis is reporting that the personal consumption expenditures price index rose 0.3 percent from January to February. That is down from a 0.6 percent increase from December to January. Joining us now is Ann Barry. She is the founder of Thread Needle, a company that provides advisory services and capital to businesses. And it is great to see you. So the latest PCE price index shows inflation is cooling, but it is still undeniably high. So how do you think the Federal Reserve is going to react to it? Luigi, you said exactly the key point, which is inflation is still high. It's cooling. So the Fed has tempered inflation, but hasn't tamed it. And so as we think about what the Fed is here to do, its mandate is to hit an inflation target of 2% on average. What we saw today was 4.6% on average. So it's still a ways away. I think the Fed will have to continue to, to have uh, rate hikes for the balance of this year until we start getting towards that 2% level. All right, let's look at some other data points increase that were re released overseas today. And uh, inflation yeah. uh, across 20 countries that use the euro slowed to its lowest level in a year. So that's the kind of thing you look at that data point and try to figure out what the effect might be here at home. Thoughts? Certainly it's slowed, but again, similar to what we have here in the U.S., inflation in Europe is incredibly high. Now, if we think about the equivalent of the Fed in Europe, it's the European Central Bank, the ECB, we saw them go out with a 50 basis point hike in the most recent um, interest rate setting period. That was that was higher than federal federal. Uh, Chair Jay Powell's 25 basis points here. And so I think we're going to continue to see higher rate hikes in Europe than we've seen here in the U.S. because the inflation level there is just that much tougher. And it's got real implications for what you're going to see here in the U.S. as well. And Anne, today actually marks the last day of the first quarter of 2023. Wow. So what is your economic forecast for the rest of the year based on where we've landed? Well, I think it's going to be really critical uh, we just to see what happens in earnings in coming weeks. Uh, starting in about three weeks from now, we're going to see businesses here in the U.S. talk about what the first quarter of this year looked like for earnings. And current estimates are that those are going to be down somewhere between 6% and 9% for this period relative to last year. And I think where that's important is if those earnings are weaker than expected, I believe that will negatively impact sentiment, uh, investor sentiment, consumer sentiment, and perhaps make a recession or a landing a little bit tougher towards the end of this year than it might have been otherwise. All right. We will be keeping our eye sharply focused on uh, what's coming in over the next couple of weeks in April. Ann Berry, uh, founder of Threadneedle, thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for having me.